Hey everyone, it's me, Code1996, and I'm back with the Bissell Air Ram. And today, I just finished vacuuming my whole downstairs, except for this rug right here. I don't vacuum that rug much because it's a wool rug, and it just sheds and sheds and sheds, so I don't vacuum that. Vacuumed all the way around the outside. Vacuumed this rug, vacuumed all over here, that rug. All down here. Did this rug. Vacuumed this whole rug twice completely and I vacuumed this right here and I vacuumed all this right here all this right here over here vacuumed all this the rugs everything all of this vacuum this whole room completely onto the bed all this vacuumed all this and all this right here and there's a walk-in closet that has a rug and the bathroom that's carpeted. We vacuumed these rugs. Vacuumed all this. Then I took it in this room after vacuuming all that and vacuumed all in here as much as I can. This is the old sewing room. So I vacuumed all of this. And then I decided to vacuum over this rug one more time and we died right here. Okay. So. After about, I have to say, a good 40 minutes of vacuuming, um, or more, because I turn it off when I'm going to a different area just to save the battery. So I'm going to lift it up. This is what it looks like right here. You see, there's a little bit of hair right here, but that's just because everything's so low to the ground that when you go under the bed and stuff, stuff just falls onto it. So that's probably from going under the bed, because that doesn't happen usually. So you lift this up, and it looks pretty clean up in here. There's the air inlet right there. That's pretty clean, um, except for about this right here. But there's a slot right here that is open, so that sometimes can allow it to come up in there. But I'm not sure what that's from. That might be uh, from me taking it out right here because some of it falls right there as you take it out but I just vacuumed it off with another vacuum but let's take a look at all the dirt I was able to accumulate today I did not vacuum yesterday but I vacuumed the day before and look at all of this dirt I am very impressed I stopped once I saw that the air inlets were just about completely packed but what I'm gonna do is I am going to dump it right here, but first let me grab the rainbow. I will be right back. Okay, now I have the rainbow right here, so if any dust does attempt to escape it, the rainbow will suck it right on up. So I'm going to turn this right here, just like this. Pull that up one more time. Allow that to come down. And look. Look at how the dirt has just been caked up into that one area and compacted. It's really done its job. So we're just going to take this and we're going to push it out. Look at that. That is... So impressive. This is very, very good. Look at that. Wow. All of this dirt got picked up by the G-Tech. No, not the G-Tech, by the Bissell Air Ram. Sorry, the G-Tech and the Bissell Air Ram are the same thing. But look at all this dirt. That is crazy how much dirt this Bissell Aram has been able to pick up. That is very, very incredible. So one last thing I'm gonna do is check the filter. And honestly, the filter isn't really that bad. You can see there's still places where the filter is clean to allow it to have airflow, which is really neat. You can see up here, there's quite a lot of hair that on the filter, but you can say the filter has done its job at cleaning. 
And if you look up in here, uh, you do see some dust. You do. Hey, kitty, little munchkin. Really? Little munchkin. Back up. Back up. Back up, little munchkin. Little munchkin, stop. <laughs> but look at this. That's the filter. It's a, a spongy type. But when you look down in there, I am surprised that you can see some dust. Which is not a very good thing. But let me know what you think about this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos.